Security researchers Ian Carroll and Sam Curry were on a routine flight recently when they noticed something interesting while waiting in the airport security line. And in true hacker fashion, they decided to do some digging. What they found was a classic security vulnerability in a TSA application that could have allowed them to bypass security checks at several major airports or even fly in the cockpit or flight deck section of some airlines. Now, if you've been to the airport instead of those long TSA lines, you might have noticed a section that runs very smoothly and allows authorized personnel to skip the lines and security checks altogether. Nope, I'm not talking about the TSA pre-check or the clear section. What I'm referring to is the KCM or known crew member section. The KCM is a TSA program that allows pilots and flight attendants to bypass security checks for airline flights. Instead, they provide the TSA agent with information like their employee number, aircraft crew member photo ID, current government issued photo ID, and a KCM barcode. The TSA verifies this information, and if successful, grants the employee access without any further screening. The KCM and the CAS programs can be accessed online via a website. Pilots and flight attendants from 77 different airlines can access the application and check their KCM status. One of these websites is flycast.com, and that's where things get interesting. The researchers discovered a login page of a smaller airline that uses that application. However, that's all they found. And as they were about to call it quits, they tried one last thing, a single quote or a tick in the username section. And this is what came back. Now, most regular users would see this as some type of glitch or a mundane error message. But to hackers and security professionals, this message is a blast from the past. And for Ian and Sam, this meant a realm of possibilities. And that's because that MySQL error message meant that the username input was being processed as a SQL query, making it vulnerable to SQL injection. So what happened next? Well, after discovering the vulnerability, Ian and Sam quickly confirmed it by typing this in the username and this in the password with the help of a tool called SQL Map. These malicious queries granted them access to the Flycast application as an administrator of the airline that they found earlier. And with that access, they could manage the list of pilots and flight attendants, change the names and photos of existing users, and add anyone as an authorized user for KCM and CASS. So this means that anyone with Google and basic knowledge of how SQL injection works could skip security and possibly sit in the cockpit section of a commercial airline. Sam and Ian then contacted the Department of Homeland Security, who confirmed and acknowledged the finding with the chief information security officer saying that the issue was, quote, being taken very seriously. The next day, the Flycast application was disconnected from KCM and CASS, and the vulnerability appeared to have been fixed. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below what you think about this entire situation.